We have a, a problem of greeting. People don't greet. Have you noticed that? We're in a masjid here, right now. Right now. Do you know people will attend a function? They wouldn't have greeted each other. Even the person next to you, they wouldn't be greeting each other. I think we can spend a minute shaking hands with the person next to you, inshallah, and saying salam, and saying your name, inshallah. We give you 30 seconds to do that, inshallah. Bi'ibnillah. It's for the sake of Allah. It will increase the love between us. I'm sure the sisters are doing that as well as the brothers, mashallah. It, it needs to be an environment of love. When people come to the masjid, my brothers, my sisters, there was a time when I was young, I used to look at some people who were a little bit older. Nowadays, maybe, inshallah, I hope it's not there. Uh, I need to say that. Okay. So we used to look at some of them. They used to give us dirty looks at times just because of, you know, perhaps they might, we might not have been dressed how they wanted us to be dressed. Brother, I've come to the masjid. Come on, man. You need to smile at me, make me feel at home. Tomorrow I'll come, inshallah, in a better position, in a better way. But if you chase me away, for, hey, what are you doing here? You're lost here today. Where do you want to go? The pub is that side, brother. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us. These are the type of words that chase people away from goodness. This is the house of Allah. Anyone who makes others comfortable here and creates space for them is actually from among the best of people. Do you know there is a narration I came across today when I was actually going through the ahadith for this topic that the Prophet ﷺ says, the best from among you in salah is the one who has the softest shoulders. And you know what that means? What's a soft shoulder? You know when I'm standing comfortable in Ramadan and then you have the guy who wants to cross the red traffic light, he budges in. And what happens? What do we do? By default, we just push him, push him further. <laughs> push him further right that's what a lot of people do and, they, and they, they make sure they make his life a misery when he goes to sujood they're there before him and there's no space for him to go in subhanallah the reason why you're laughing is because you know what I'm talking about yes so you want to be the best of people the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him speaks about the same thing in the hadith he says the best of you are those whose shoulders are soft in salah in the saf what that means, someone comes, you create space for them. So what? Make space for someone. Perhaps Allah will make space for you in Jannah. Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. The next time someone barges in, make space for them. Subhanallah. Like I say, and say to yourself and say to Allah that, Oh Allah, you know, I might just have been disturbed a little bit, but you make space for me in, in paradise. Ameen. And then when you're done with your salah, you tell the brother, Brother, do you do this every day or is it just today? You know, because we need correction as well. Say, today you're welcome, my brother. Alhamdulillah. But try to be here early tomorrow. We can both stand in the first of. And the next day he'll come early and guess what will happen? A third guy will come and do that. You know why? Because you're being tested by Allah. Are you ready to give others a space? Are you ready to give a lift to someone? Are you ready to reach out to someone? If you cannot reach out to someone in your prayer, do you really think you're going to reach out to people in anything else? It's not possible. You, are, you, are, you need to love for others what you love for yourself. I want to be in the first saf. You know the hadith speaks about the importance of the first saf. If people knew the value of that first saf, you know, they would do a few things in order to make sure that they were there. They would draw lots. Put everyone's name in a hat because we're all here first. We all want to be in the first saf. Let's see whose name comes up to stand there. Subhanallah. But with us, mashallah, we are taught to come early and you make it. If you haven't, you stand in the next saf by the will of Allah. So remember that hadith. You know, it did something to me when I read it today because after a long time, I was reminded of this. It had already slipped my mind. The soft shoulders, the hadith says, the best from among you in salah, those with soft shoulders, mashallah. A lot of us, the hard shoulders, you know. I've been to the gym today, mashallah. You know? <laughs> Subhanallah. So you're standing there, the guy must feel that, you know, I'm tough. Subhanallah, soften up a little bit, humble yourself. It's salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease.